Good morning, fellow Hebrew Israelites, once known as African Americans, and the rest of the human family. Let's be get one thing clear. Black people are not going to riot when the films of the beating of the black man is shown. The reason why is because the police officers were fired and charged with murder. They were not put on administrative leave pending investigation. You see, justice will serve. Black people protest when there is no justice. We protest when there is no justice. We do not protest when there is justice. We protest when there is not justice. There's nothing to protest unless the films show, the videos show that these men were guilty of beating this man to death and then the jury finds them innocent, then that would be reason for protest. But right now, justice has been served. The men have been fired, placed in jail, and not on administrative leave. Let's compare this situation with the Rodney King situation where these men were found what? Innocent, basically, and we've seen the beatings. This is a totally different scenario. Now, had these police who beat this man to death, had they been white? Well, we have to ask ourselves, would they have been immediately fired? Or would they have been placed on administrative leave pending investigation? Now that may have, now that would definitely cause an uproar depending on what the videos look like. But understand one thing. When a person is arrested and put in jail, black people do not go to the jail break the person out and lynch them. That is something Caucasians have done to black people who were innocent. So let's not flip the script. Let's not flip the script. Let's stick to the script. Black people protest when there is injustice, not when justice has been served. The only thing black people ask for is justice. That's why we want to end to systemic racism, because it is injustice. Simple as that. Don't take Einstein to figure it out. Anytime you do injustice to a, to a people, they're going to protest. And it should be expected. And to reiterate, black people have never been known to go to a jail and pull out a white person who was guilty of a murder of a black person. Once that person is arrested, only thing you, you hear basically silence in the black community. We go back to, to our normal lives and we wait for the trial. That's it. We do not go to the jail, overthrow the guards, pull the person out, and have a public lynching. That is something Caucasians do. We do not do that. 
we do not take black babies or white babies and use them for alligator bait. We are not cannibals. We have never eaten white people. Delectable Negroes. There are no books proving that we did. But um, one other thing I want to touch on, Al Sharpton, you do not represent the black community by any stretch of the imagination. You do not. You don't. We don't listen to you. We don't pay you any attention. As far as I'm concerned, you are not a part of the African diaspora. Neither is Eric Dyson. Nobody voted Eric Dyson or Al Sharpton to be the leader of the black community. You do not even speak for us. You definitely do not speak to speak for me until you Deuteronomy 28 states that the curse was slavery. Have you denied Christianity? Do you now consider yourself a Jew? Eric Dyson, do you consider yourself a Jew? How can you represent me when the Bible says that I'm a Jew? But you're not. As far as I'm concerned, you might as well be another man in blue if you're not a Jew. I'm going to end here so people can get back to doing what they're doing. But uh, like I said, black people are not, we don't storm jails, pull people out, and lynch them. We don't have a history of that. We wait on the trial. With that being said, like and subscribe and uh, have a nice day, people.